Yes, one more math video. <laughs> hey, I'm almost done with all fifth grade here. This is the last, actually, videos that I've been creating. I think I was eight down, and I have maybe about six more to go. So let's go ahead and get started with lesson 11.4. That's right, I said lección 11.4. That's right, 11.4, and we have a topic of three-dimensional figures. Woo, cool. All right, we're leaving the world of two dimensions to 3D. Yes, okay. Our essential question here, again, this is our purpose, our objective, our learning target, our learning intention. Yes, all of these mean the same thing. Just means that I'm looking at why am I doing this? It says, first, we're going to say, how can you identify, describe, and classify three-dimensional figures? How are we going to do that? Okay, why do we need to do these kinds of things? Well, mostly because this is the kind of stuff that's going to help us learn how a lot of different things are shaped in our environment. We always wanted to put things into categories. So this is a good thing for us to learn how to classify, right, and describe things. Okay, it's a life skill. You have to have it. Okay, but anyway, it's time to unlock the problem. It's, oh, but it's no real world baby what's going on where's my where's my world where, okay it's not a real world problem oh what a letdown i'm crushed okay well we have to move on too bad it's so weird i've never seen that before where i have unlocked a problem and there's no real world problem okay get over it mr aura okay i'm over it a solid figure has three dimensions length width and height it says polyhedrons, such as prisms and pyramids, are three-dimensional figures with faces that are polygons. It says here a prism is a polyhedron that has two congruent polygons as bases. Hmm. Are you completely lost yet? I know, this is a lot of stuff here. Maybe we should go, what is this? This says math idea. Let's look at that. Oh, not again. Cameraman. What? He's out again? Oh, okay, well, can you help out? Thank you. Oh my goodness. I really need to employ a complete team. All right, so it says here a two-dimensional figure has the dimensions, length and width, which are used to find the figure's area. You may recall when we do a triangle or a quadrilateral, it just has two dimensions, the length and the width or whatever. Now it says a three-dimensional figure or solid has three dimensions, it has length, width, and height. It says these dimensions are used to find the figure's volume or the space it occupies. Like what's inside, I think of the volume, okay? Uh, also, what do we have here? It says a polyhedron's lateral faces are polygons that connect with the bases. The lateral faces of a prism are rectangles. So looking at our little picture here, can you give us a close up? Yay, all right. <laughs> You know what? I think you're hired. Okay, so we have two bases. You can see the base on the top and on the bottom. I mean, it can sit. And then we have the lateral face, which is, it just told us that the lateral face was that they're made of polygons. Okay, it's a two-dimensional figure. You stick them together, put the base, and like, woohoo! We have ourselves a 3D object. Now, it says a prism's base shape is used to name the solid's figure. Okay, you can see in that base there, looks like a triangle. The base shape of the, this prism oh, is a triangle. The prism is a triangular prism. So we have to change the word triangle to triangular because now it becomes a adjective. Triangle is a noun and triangular is an adjective and that's why we have to change that. And it is a type of prism, it's a triangular one. So really, really clear that the base helps us name it. Okay, I like this. So we have, let's just do a quick review here. Polyhedrons are prisms and pyramids. And this here, we were just looking at a prism. Soon, I guess we're gonna learn what a pyramid is, okay? They're all three-dimensional figures, but their faces to the figures are all polygons, the thing we were just studying, okay? And we did quadrilaterals in the last lesson. So now we can see how that works. Okay, now it says identify the base shape of the prism. Use the terms in the box to correctly name the prism by its base shape. Okay, well, the base shape there, it looks like a rectangle. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking that first one, don't you? Rectangle? So would it be a rectangular prism? I'm liking it. I don't know, I'm always one that I like to see if I have a box with choices, I'm always the one that wants to wait. Let me make sure. 
Yeah, because I like that, 100%. So I'm going to go to the next one and just say, what does that one look like? Ooh, five sides, one, two, three, four, five. That looks like a pentagon. <gasps> we do have a pentagonal, I guess is how you say that, prism. It's a rare shape. And then the other one looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six sides. Ooh, that would be hexagonal prism. I don't know, I'm probably not saying that right, but ooh, that's another weird shape. And the other one, oh my goodness, that has to be like a stop sign, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's right octagonal uh, prism. So I'm pretty comfortable that those are going to be my answers. So this base shape we said was the rectangle, rectangle. So the name of the solid figure was the rectangular. Over here we had the uh, pentagon. So that was the pentagonal. Change the word pentagon again into an adjective. And that was prism. So let's see, I use this one. Use that one. All right. And then this one here was the, the hexagon, right? Okay. So this one here is our hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, six sides. Very good. Hexagon. And oh, here's that hard word again. Hexagonal. Hexagonal. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that becomes the adjective. Prism. Okay. Base shape here was the octagon. And then we have octagonal. Prism. Doo doo. Yeah. It does say here, mathematical practice one, analyze. What special prism has congruent squares for bases and lateral faces? Ooh, I love this one. It's a cube. Yep, that beautiful little cube. Yeah, and I always like drawing them. This guy, right? Because you have squares as, you know, your lateral faces, like it said, and also the base. Cool. Okay, page master. Oh, yeah, a pyramid. It's a pyramid. I knew we were going to come to these guys. A pyramid is a polyhedron with only one base. Aha, key word. One, let's underline that. The other ones had two bases. You can just tell by the pointy little top that it couldn't really lie very nice on a surface. So it says the lateral faces of a pyramid are triangles that meet at a common vertex. Ah, okay. This guy right here. This is where they're all meeting up here at the top. It's the pointy little thing that I was telling you about. Like a prism, a pyramid is named for the shape of its base. It says identify the base shape of the pyramid. Use the terms in the box to correctly name the pyramid by its base shape. Base shape here looks like a triangle. So I'm going to write a triangle in here. Thank you very much. Woohoo. Oh, that's a square. Super easy. Square. Yep. Ooh, what's this? One, two, three, four. Is that a pentagon? Look, sure looks like it to me. Pentagon, pentagonal. All right, let's erase that. Okay, now it's his name, the solid figure. I have a choice over here, triangular. I'm writing it triangular. And now we're not gonna say prism, we're gonna say pyramid. Here is a square, so we have a square. Pyramid, cool. Over here we have a pentagonal pyramid. All these different names, huh? But you know what? They made it really, really easy in this lesson. You just have to look at the base. The base sets you up to let you know whether it's a prism or whether it's a pyramid, that that gets its name. So just look at the base, start there, and then look at it and say, hey, do I have a prism or do I have a pyramid? Pretty nice. You see, we use this one here, this one, and that one up there. We didn't use you. Sorry, you are not the chosen one. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. Now we have something called non-polyhedrons. Ah, the ones that are not. You're not part of that cool group. It says some three-dimensional figures have curved surfaces. Aha, these solid figures are not polyhedrons. The key word that I saw there, curved surfaces. It says a cone has one circular base and one curved surface. You can see this is a circular base, so it's curved when it meets. It doesn't make a straight line because you have a circle basically. All right. Circular. Okay. A cylinder has two congruent circular bases. Look at these two bases here and here. Yep. And it says they're congruent, so they have to be the same. And they are circular. So, and they also have one curved surface. So over here we have a sphere has no bases and one curved surface. Okay. Like our planet Earth. Okay. Now it's time for Sharon's show. That's right. Math board time. Get your math boards. Here we go. Math board. Yeah. Okay. Classify the solid figure. Ooh. Right prism, pyramid, cone, cylinder, or sphere. 
which one is it? Okay. Well, looking at this, I know this doesn't look like a pyramid because all the points don't come together, right? You know, they don't all meet at that vertex. So I'm going to call this one just a prism. And do I actually have to classify the solid figure? I mean, I don't recall that I have to do that. Is this just prism? It does say, yeah, right? Prism. Okay, I'm thinking I had to write like rectangular prism or what it is. Okay, for this one here, I don't know. That's like our planet Earth, remember? So that is a sphere. We'll write that there. Ooh, kind of a weird word. SPH. Three, ah, look at that. They're all coming to a point like that. Let's me know. That maybe is a pyramid. Pyramid. Woohoo. And then here, ooh, look at this guy. He doesn't have those points coming together. He's not a cone. He's not a cylinder. He is a prism. Oh, my goodness. Could this be any easier? I think not. Woo, pyramid. And finally, look at here. This is a cylinder. Remember those two equal bases? Yeah, I remember that. Cylinder. Da, da, da. Oh, no. That's right. It's the end of another video. Oh, my goodness. These chapter 11 videos are going super fast. Woo, like me. Woo. I mean, you look one second, and you know, it's like you're looking in the sky, and you see a, you hear a plane, and you look, and you don't see it. It's like already gone because it's like supersonic fast, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. Mr. the uh, end the video. Okay, yes, it's time for me to say hasta la vista, my friends. It's been a pleasure. It's been an honor. Now, 